Well, hey there, it's Sandy Elnock, and I'm going to do a little more Copic coloring of die cuts. And this time I'm going to use All Inside, which is a bear who's been around for a while. But there's bear wear sets that keep coming out on a regular basis. This is number five. And there's sleighs. There's different things for Halloween and Christmas in this particular set. And I am going to use just the dies, though. And the sleigh, the gift boxes, the little heart, and the bear itself or what I'm going to die cut out of some regular Nina cardstock. Whatever you're going to color with, do it on whatever kind of paper is going to work best for those. But you can see the shapes are very distinctive. They might be missing the inner parts, but you can simplify those inner parts. And I'm going to do that with the bear. I like to make my bears black bears with brown bellies and brown snouts. So I'm just going to throw some brown in there because I'm going to go over the outside edges and refine that shape using my darker markers. So it's going to be a really easy coloring job to just put the splooge of brown on there and then start adding in the other colors. And I've got a piece of scratch paper underneath, of course, so I don't get my desk all messy. And in order to do the little paws, I can just shove a piece of scratch paper underneath to be able to color those without having to be real careful to go around them, which is kind of nice. And then I'm going to add some shading colors. I'm going to add a little bit of black to make a little bit of dimension in the bear himself and then blend that again with the gray so that my bear is kind of blended. Now he's going to be mostly hidden in this particular one because he's standing behind the sleigh and behind the gifts, but I am just like one of those people that just got to add the shading because I do. But you could probably get away with just doing a little bit of shading on the top portion and ignore the whole bottom section there easily enough. So I'm just going to get this all blended and then start working on the little details. Now you can look at the stamp set and see what the nose looks like or just draw your own nose and mouth in there. Put a little white highlight on mine. And then I'm going to use the heart, just color a little bit of shading on it. You could decorate it up with some white pen or something like that. You could put some glossy accents on it and then stick it into his paws after it's all dry. But next I'm going to do the packages. And notice that I'm just making squares out of them. And then I'm just coloring over the bows that are those shapes up at the top. The rest of it is just going to be squares. And then I can add little details in there once I'm finished with this step. I alternated my colors so they would be Christmassy colors and then I'm going to add some shading. I'm going to put a little bit of shading underneath of the bow because that's going to make it look like it's a an actual bow up there and that's really all you have to do. You can add more to it. I'm going to add a few little stripes, vertical stripes on the bottom package and some angled ones on the top. And again, you can see the, the way I'm treating the bow a little bit better on this one. Just make a little scallop underneath of the bow, add some shading, and then I'm going to add some uh, little cross hatching on it to make a little checkerboard type of pattern. For the yellow package, I'll use my traditional purples to shade with, and then an orange, and then the yellow. And then I'm just going to add some red dots across it. Real simple way to make a pattern out of it, because face it, nobody's really going to be looking at the detail of it. You're just trying to give the impression that there's all these wonderful packages in there. I've added a little tiny bit of white pen detail and you can go crazy on your packages if you want. For the hat, I'm going to add some shading on it first and get that blended and then I'll add the ribbing in the top of the hat, that little fold going around, just using the dark pen. And now for the sleigh, which is, again, it's going to be an easy one. Don't worry. It's very easy. I'm going to color the main part of it with one red. And then the inner portions, I'm going to make some shading kind of set in from the outside edges. So I have that little red edge on the outside. And then I'll use a medium tone red to blend it. And that's going to give me a little bit of a, a glow around the outside edge. And then you can decorate this any old way you want. If you've got a sentiment that's going to fit on your sleigh, you can put that on there. And lots of different ways you can do it. I, of course, am going to use 
my uniball pen, so I'm going to use a white one to go along that edge where I made the darker portions on the inside. And I'm just going to add little dots all the way around. And of course, this covers up whether or not those little lines that I've made, that little border that I created, if it's not even, it doesn't matter because I'm putting all of this white pen on it. I also have a gold pen in the same brand and I'm going to make some swirlies with it and just fill in the rest with just some doodling, just something shiny on there so that the sleigh is decorated up. You can do this with anything you like. If you've got some swirly stamps, you could do that. Lots of different ways you could decorate a sleigh. So doing this kind of coloring on your dies is just another way to stretch them, make them go a little further and make a scene out of them. So I've got some adhesive on the back, some dimensional adhesive. I'm going to put a little bit of it over on top of the packages and then we'll lay the little bear behind it all and glue that down and then glue the bear's hat on. And then it's a matter of whether or not you want to make a scene or not. I have made this card a couple times because I keep coloring this little sleigh and packages and things. And this time I decided I would make a background for it. I did have a little fail in this, so I figured I'd show it to you just so you'd see that, yes, lots of fails happen and nobody dies. <laughs> it's just a crafting fail. I had this idea to put the, the bear and the sleigh on the right-hand side and have a background back here where I would have on kind of two-thirds of the way over. I would have an opening in the trees and I would do the sentiment in that area and I would just have these trees on either side of the sentiment. That was the idea. Did not work out quite so well, but nonetheless, the background that I put in there, I got it as smooth as I could, but I'm going to be doing a lot of other stuff to it. So don't stress out if you can't get it really super smooth because the trees that I'm going to put on here are going to fix that. But I'm going to put some shading down here so that when I add my sleigh, then it's going to look like there was a little road that he was going alongside. So just some blue kind of scribbly bits. And I'm softening up with a little bit of a lighter blue. And then I'm going to start working on the trees. And I did glue my, my sleigh down. Shouldn't have done that yet. Should have done the background first. But like I said, I had some fails going on here. But the idea was I was going to do some trees on the left and trees on the right. And the sentiment would be above the bear's head in the middle. And I kept going a little too far. I did not measure how wide that sentiment was going to need to be. So I got a little carried away. The background being a BG15, I started using a lighter blue-green to make the, the lighter trees. And then I started adding in a little shading on one side of each of the trees with a darker color. That became too linear for me. So I took my light marker and I went over that again. So I just softened unevenly in different places to try to make it look a little less super deliberate. So just going over that with a blue pen. And then I went back to my BG15 and started going back over the area in between the trees so that it would start pulling those trees to the foreground, that kind of thing. And again, should have stopped a little earlier on the trees because I had to go do a little repair to my design idea. But you can sort of see I had planned this wonderful, lovely area <laughs> for sentiment. And sometimes that's just how it goes. So next up, of course, is the white pen fun. So I'm going to add a little squiggly line on the right hand side of each one of the tree trunks and some tree branches and adding them in different directions so that they crisscross each other and they kind of flow out into each other and go in between and behind each other. And it doesn't have to be really perfect. Most people are going to look at that and they're going to, in their mind, say, it's a forest. So, you know, it doesn't matter if the trees are even straight. You can see I made mine deliberately a little bit kitty wampus because that's how trees grow. They lean over, especially when they get heavy laden with snow and that kind of thing. So it's a, a real forgiving kind of way to do it. And then I added some snow in between all of it. And you can see I had to affix my sentiment 
using a panel to glue onto my card. And I had to put a string around it, a little piece of twine in order to put a little embellishment thing on there because I felt like it needed to be attached to the side of the card rather than floating. And so I put a little little piece of twine there, added snow onto my die cut image. And there we go. I think it came out really cute, even if it didn't work out as completely planned. But it's just another way that you can use dies in order to make scenes without having to do the stamping portion. So if you enjoy this, please click the like button. As always, share it with your friends if you know somebody who would like to make this. And I will see you again very soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.